Hello, first graders. Today, we are going to do a drawing exercise called the shape mannequin. And you're basically drawing a full body using these simple shapes. So we have an oval, a rectangle. We have a, a half circle for the hand. We have a, uh, a circle or an oval for the knee. We have rectangles for the legs and the arms. So we are going to break everything down with shapes. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open your book to a blank spread. You're going to get this paper and you have to glue this into your sketchbook. So this is how you do it. You open up your glue by taking off the dried glue. Then you turn the orange cap until there's a gap. You flip this around and repeat after me. Dot, 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 not a lot. Also dot, space, dot, space, dot, space, and dot, space. So just dots all around my paper. Then I flip it over and then I give it a nice massage and I hold it down for 20 seconds. I do not close my book. I do not do this. I keep it open because glue will get everywhere if I do not leave it open. Now I'm ready to start drawing a full body using shapes. So first you start off with an oval. Then you make a rectangle for the neck. Then you make your shoulders, one, two lines. Your lines, they should be twins. They should be the same. And they should be wider than your head. Then you wanna take this down and this is half of your body. So now I'm going to show you a trick called frozen fingers. So take your finger, take your thumb, and measure out where your body should end. So this is the top half of your body. If you use your frozen fingers, you can measure out that your feet should be down here. And now we are ready to draw our legs. So remember, your knees should be in the middle right here if your feet are down here. So I am going to make a mark where the middle of the shape is. Then I'm going to make an upside down B. And remember, this should be halfway. Now, from this corner, I make a diagonal line. And then I turn it into a rectangle. From this corner, make a diagonal line, then turn it into a rectangle. And now you can see, this is the top half of my legs. Now I'm going to draw ovals for my knees. And then I'm going to make a straight rectangle. I'm showing that my knees are bending here. And now I can draw my shoes. So shoes, I literally just start off with like a little L. Then I make a diagonal line and then connect it. Diagonal line and then connect it. Now going up to the arms, I want to have an arm up and an arm down. So arm up, I make a line that goes up and then I make a line that goes up and then I end it. Then I make um, an oval for my elbow and then one last rectangle. And I kind of ran out of room, so I'm going to show you how to do my hand right here and you can even add a little thumb. Now I'm going to do another arm. Line down from my corner, this is my shoulder. Line down, then make it into a rectangle. Your arms come out of your shoulders. So no scary looking arms coming out of your tummy. They come out of your shoulders. Then you can make a little oval for your elbow and then 
you add a straight rectangle. And then you add your hand. And that is it. Now you're going to choose what season you're going to do. And you are going to create an outfit for that season. So maybe I want to create winter. I can make a hat where my head is. I could make earmuffs. I could make a scarf. I could add buttons for my jacket. There's lots of different things that I can add. If you are doing springtime, maybe you only have a t-shirt on. So just keep in mind we're breaking things down with shape but you're not going to see these ovals. You're not going to see these harsh lines. This is just how we draw it when we practice. Now, I am going to draw my face. So I'm gonna zoom in. For your face, you make a line down and a line across, right in the middle. And then I draw in my eyes Curve on top, curve on the bottom, curve on top, curve on the bottom. Then I draw my iris, then my pupil. I can also draw eyebrows. Then right down here, I draw my nose. And then in the middle of this part, I draw my mouth. So today is just all about practice and then I can draw my hair. So my hat will cover my, my ears and my hair. So I am going to fast forward to show you the shape person, the shape mannequin. And then I'm going to show you another outfit you can do. So now, to draw my face, you make a line down, line across. Draw on your eyes. Make a line down here and draw on your nose. And then draw on your smile. Then you make your ears next to your eyes and then you make your hairline from one ear to the other. Now you can have your hair in a ponytail. You can add side bangs like this. There's lots of different hairstyles you can do. I am going to show a side part and it's gonna go in front of my ears. And then this one's gonna go behind my ears and behind my shoulder. Next, uh, maybe I'll show an outfit for summertime. So I'm gonna draw my shirt collar. I'm gonna draw a short sleeve shirt like that. When it's time to outline, I'm not going to add in my harsh lines. If you want to draw shorts, you end it right here. If you want to draw pants, you just erase this line. If you would like to draw a skirt or a dress, you just go on top of your legs like that. And then now I'm going to draw in my shoes. And that's it. Now I'm going to erase. So this is how you draw a person only using shapes.